You, there hath no temptation taken you, but as such is common to man. But God is faithful who will not tempt you above that which you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. Temptation is not the problem. It's when we fall and go into that, that place that we shouldn't go and that we go against God's word that we sin. And that is when we fall. Peter told us something that we should have and we should uh, learn and, and try to keep in touch with. In 1 Peter chapter 5, we read, But be sober-minded and be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion. We all know that verse, right? Seeking someone to devour. And then the next two words we forget. Resist him. Resist him. Firm in your faith. You can't resist if you don't know what you believe, ladies and gentlemen. Read God's word. And then when you know that that temptation is there, you say, where's my way of escape? I'm using God's word to help me battle Satan himself so that when I'm tempted, I don't have to fall. I can sit there and quote scripture. I can look to the Lord and say, Lord, I don't know what to say. I don't know the scripture I need to go to, but Lord, protect me. You know what he will? He will give you what you need. And he will give you that still small voice and he will tell you what you need to do. But you got to slow down and quiet down and let him speak so that you might not fall. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. That verse goes on to say this, and this is what I love. If we can stand and follow what God says, he says, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his, his eternal glory in Christ, just praise the Lord, we're going to get to Jesus. We have Jesus. He made a way. And it says, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and I love this, establish you. You want to be a thorn in Satan's side? Let Jesus establish you. Let your ways be His ways. Let your desire be to fulfill God's sovereign and perfect will for your life. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Let the purpose in which God has you here in 2022, let it be for His purpose, whatever the case may be. You see, you're here for a reason. And it's not to fall, ladies and gentlemen. You see, we give in to Satan and when we give in to him that temptation and we go along our way and we feel our desires, our needs and whatever it is that we think is important, that we take our eyes and ears off of what God's word says. That is when we fall. 